Hey, this video will cover how to change the due date for an invoice that's already been invoiced to a unit. So what you're going to want to do is log into your software, find that unit that you need to work with, click on the unit name and, until you get to this unit page. So once you're on the page for this unit, you're going to scroll down until you get to this billing history section. And on this billing history section, it's going to list all the charges and payments. So for example, this second line item down, uh, was created in the software on their account on 425. It's an association due uh, one month starting 520. The due date is 518 and it's for $100. So if I needed to edit the date for this, I'm going to go ahead and click on the date out to the left for this transaction. And that's going to take me to this page, which is just the transaction details for this invoice. So you can see there's a due date of 518 right here. I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to change that. So for example, if this was really due on 5-1, I would have to edit that due date to 5-1. And I'd also have to come down to this description box because since the software created a description already for this item, I'm going to need to edit that manually. So I'm just going to change that uh, description to say one month starting 5-1 instead of 518. And then I'm going to go down here to the bottom right and I'm going to hit this update button. Um, it's going to give you a warning. You're just going to hit accept on that and it's going to go ahead and update that. One thing to note here is when it updates uh, that information, it keeps these changes a little log here of all the changes to this transaction line item right here. So you can see I've edited this and it will, it will log who edited it, uh, what date and time, and then what was changed. If you go to the top now, the top right, you'll see this invoice button. And if I click on this invoice button, you'll see now that instead of the due date of 518 like it was before, it's now says it now says 5-1-2024 is the due date um, right here. And then that description that we changed is updated right here as well. And so that's just how you're going to be able to edit that invoice um, due date if you need to for whatever reason. Um, if you have any questions or need some help with that, just give us a call or email us. Thanks. Bye.